Section 5.3, ambiguous case. So law of science is not bad, right? Those proportions weren't too hard to set up, but this is where it starts to get ugly. So when solving a triangle where we know two sides and then angle opposite, we call it side-side angle, is the ambiguous case. And so let's see why, and then we'll figure out what to do. So let's say, suppose we're given angle B, side A, and then side B. So the key is, is that side B is opposite angle B. Kind of three different things can happen. So we're gonna go ahead and draw angle B. So we know angle B. We know side A, so we know the length of this side. This bottom one, we don't know the length of. And then we know the length of side B. So let's say B is given. So option one is B is too short and just never reaches the bottom. Right, imagine I draw this, no matter where I draw it, it's too short, right? It's not gonna reach that bottom. And so it's actually an impossible case. There's no triangle you can make. It happens with obtuse angles also. So here's angle B. I'm highlighting B because we know B. Let's say we know the length of A. We don't know the bottom length yet, but then B is only this long, so it never quite reaches the bottom, no matter where I draw it. So no triangle is formed. And so it, when we do the math, we'll see why it doesn't work. But visually, it's just an impossible triangle. So again, this is when we know an angle, side, side. So we tend to call it SSA because that's more appropriate, but maybe it's more like angle, side, side, because that's how we feel about this case. Um, so let's try another one. The other option is we know B. So here's angle B, we know the size of B. Um, we know A again. So here's A. And then, this is a little hard to draw. B can sometimes make two triangles. So notice those two things are the same length. It can make this obtuse triangle on the left or it can make an acute triangle on the right. So that gets a little tricky because there's two possible triangles. So there's B, A, B, or there's B, A, B. And hopefully, it's a little hard because I'm drawing it by hand, right? But these are the same length. There's two possible ways to make the same triangle. If you thought about having like a protractor, it would hit twice. So there are two possible triangles. So that's gonna be the really the tricky one when we're solving this. And the last case is there's only one perfect triangle and there's lots of things that can happen. So we, can have, we know B, we know A again, and then there's just one perfect triangle for B. Sometimes it makes a right angle and then we don't really need the law of sines anymore but that could happen. And then we can solve the remainder of the triangle. So what do we look for? As we're doing the math, so even if we don't know how to draw the picture, the math will figure it out for us. So when there's no triangles, we're gonna get this weird sine value that's out of range. So remember sine is always in between negative one and one. Right? It can equal negative 1 and 1, but it can't go past negative 1 and 1. So if you get like sine theta equals 1.5, that doesn't have a solution. So that's going to be a hint that we're in the weird case with no triangle. Um, so what for 1 and 2 triangles, we're going to do the same thing um, to check. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the supplementary angle. The reason it's the supplementary angle is these two angles are supplementary because this is the same angle. Supplementary means they add up to 180. So if it does form two triangles, the two triangles have supplementary angles. So if the supplementary angle ends up working, then we know there's a second possibility. So what we're gonna do is we'll find the supplementary for either case and then the difference is, is if your supplementary angle plus the given angle is greater than 180, then it's not possible to make a second triangle because that would be too big, right? More than 180 degrees. And then you're done.
But if your supplemental supplement angle and your given angle is less than 180, then the second triangle is possible and you have to solve both. So we'll check out the ambiguous case in the next video.